Yeah. Hello, hello world. Welcome to Raffle Comedy, the only show that interrogates comedians and then makes them perform like monkeys. <laughs> Welcome. Well, <laughs> the only show that comedians are so desperate to do comedy that they come and they beg me for a spot. <laughs> hey, it's great to be here. It's great to be here. So if you're unfamiliar with the show, what we do is we like to have a little chat with the comedians before we force them on stage to be funny. So, yeah. So thank you so much for coming on. Um, what's been happening? It's International Women's Day today. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. Woo! Woo-hoo. Yeah. 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 Good night, like, wait. You know, I love women. I'm a big fan. Um, some of my best friends are women, actually. Um, my, my girlfriend, <laughs> my girlfriend hates when I say that. Yeah. Baby, baby, that was that was a joke. I, I I don't I'm not friends with any women, okay? That was that was <laughs> all right. I'll, 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 I'll solve that after the show. Um <laughs> she gets jealous when I even ring my mother, so yeah, it's, it's I, I wouldn't worry about it. Um yeah, it, it's great. I mean yeah, there's so many important women in my life, like even my own mother, like, yeah, so, so close to me. Um, actually, my mother didn't, um, she never liked the idea of me doing comedy, which was, uh, which is funny. Yeah. It never really gave me many, much support. Um, kind of, kind of preferred my brother, to be honest. Um, but she never had great taste, did she, mother? <laughs> really? She just wanted me to be an accountant. Well, that's your dream, mom. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Anyway, anyway, good show. We're going to have a great show. Um, speaking of mothers who don't love their sons, um, the world was shocked to see the interview with Oprah with Meghan and uh, Harry. That was crazy. I think the whole world watched and was like, oh my God, this is so dramatic, but it's going to make an excellent 12th season for the crown. <laughs> That's going to be a great season. Wait till like, like, like we've got Corona, Trump, <laughs> Biden, Boris, it's going to be. It's, that's going to be a great season. That's going to be a great season. Okay, enough of me. We're going to get the comedian. We're going to get the other funny people on. Hello. How Hi. are you doing, guys? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's, what's, uh, what's going down? I don't like how you can see my bed. I'm just going to. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I just don't like the idea of people like, oh, that's what his bed sheets. They're very flowery. Yeah. Well, we would I'm surprised that you don't girlfriend. have Ninja Turtles on them. Yeah, see, I'm back with my parents because the lockdowns. My mother again. I know I complain about her a lot, but she she made the bed. You know, she picked the cover. <laughs> she made yeah. it the bed. Yeah. Boring. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you should move so, back uh, to your own place where you can have Superman on your covers. Yeah, well, that's what I have normally: Superman, The Avengers. Yeah. Man wow. Stuff. It's impressive that you have more than one set of sheets, actually. I have two. Yeah. yeah. So one too many, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mar- Marty, how many do you have? One? Half of one. I use a pillowcase and just curl up, like, <laughs> in the middle of the bed. You're like bed sheets. Ha, huh. for losers. Yeah. Just... That is the comedian way, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Feet the position. <laughs> Crying. Yeah. yeah. No, we, no. I take that back. We're we're happy people. We are yeah. happy people. Happy on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Crying on the inside. And then like like do you ever get a comedian they get up and they talk about how like great their life is? I'm like, I want to see you having a mental breakdown. I don't care about you got a job promotion. <laughs> you know? I think that's fantastic. Oh. I love when a comedian gets on and because it's so different. You know, like when a comedian gets on, like my life is fucking awesome. I, I think <laughs> yeah. that's fantastic. Because <laughs> how often do you see it? Never. It's like when a comedian no. gets up and starts like shitting on religion. I would much prefer a comedian to get up and be like, "Oh, I love Jesus." Because I be like, "Yes, I never see this. Awesome, cool." A comedian is like, he loves his life and he believes in Jesus Christ. Amazing. <laughs> but then again, people who are in these situations have no reason to gravitate towards comedy. So it's just something that you never see. Absolutely, happy people don't do comedy. That's you know. <laughs> That's why they're living their lives and loving Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> you can hear me. He watches the show every day. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to move on to our first comedian. It is Marty Gleason. Hello. How are you, Marty? How are you how's, getting on? I'm very well. How are you keeping, Jack? How's, how's the form? Ah, she's grand. She's, she's absolutely ecstatic with her life right now. She's so yeah. happy and she loves Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, you spoke too soon. 
<laughs> no, I'm Grant. Yeah, I'm Grant. Like, damn, it, this always happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Marty, for the all the viewers out there if, that don't know, but you're living in London at the moment. Yeah, I'm living in oh. Camden in London, and it's grand. It's so grand. Oh, Camden yeah. Tan, mate. Yeah, yeah, I used to live in London for six years. I know, I know mm. all the, I knew all the streets in London, mate. Oh, fair play. I don't. Yeah. But... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. It's grand. City mapper. Thank fuck for that. City mapper. Yeah. yeah. Tubes. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Although city mappers sometimes, like when you're using it to walk around, it leads you into people's gardens, and it's like climb the wall, and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone's like, "Oi, get off my 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 garden," you're like, city mapper told me. <laughs> city mapper, city mapper, scaling buildings. They start and, charging yeah. you a toll. It's one yeah. pound. To get past my my garden. Boy, the dog. A pound in London, it'd be like five pounds. Come on. Is this like a yeah, like an app? I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. it's like Uber Maps, but better, I think. Uber Maps. That's another yeah. like British thing. I don't even know what you're saying right now. Yeah. Google Maps. Yeah. Oh, Google Maps. Okay. Yeah. I was we like got, Uber so, Maps. I'm like, so, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, we've got this thing in in um like the UK Ireland that's like called Google, and you type things in, and then oh. things. Pop. So you <laughs> like Steve. boobs. We have come. something <laughs> called um, Ask Jeeves. I don't know if you've heard of that. <laughs> Is that like Yahoo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. Yeah. Um, yeah. And how's uh, how is London? It's grand. It's, it's, it's very intense. like there's no nobody really cares anymore about the virus. Like I think that's, I think that's everywhere. Has to go in. What? I think that's everywhere. No one gives a shit anymore. No, as in <sighs> obviously, you know, be careful, but uh, you know. You know, oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, yeah now, it's, it's we're not condemning that on this show, so you know, it's it's this is a comedy show. Yeah, I, like, so, I love that. I love that approach. Imagine the uh, who were like, look, yeah, okay, be careful, but you know yourself. Mm. <laughs> just, just use your right, head. Like, like, mm. I can okay. get on board with this. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 there was a protest in Dublin two weeks ago, so that whole Asher, you know yourself, isn't. Yeah, Is it working? I heard about that. That's bollocks. Yeah. Like, no, nah, that's not cool. Anti-maskers, you know, oh, we're being controlled, man. Bunch of nerds. Yeah. If you ask nerds. Me. Although nerds are cool, so maybe not nerds. <laughs> I don't back. know what they were, but yeah, they were, and, and they were firing fireworks at the police. Yeah, legends. Know. Actually, legends for firing fireworks. Class. Should have been firing fireworks at the doll. That would make, make more sense. That's <laughs> the, that's, the, that's, the, that's like the White House of, of Ireland. <laughs> Exactly. But there's less security, so something would go down. Only Pascal Sheehy standing outside all yeah. day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are you over in London for work? or? Yeah, so I'm, I'm an illustrator over here, so I'm freelance doing my doing Ooh. my stuff. So I'm trying to find work in that now, in the middle of all this stuff, which is so fun. Yeah, I great. bet. Yeah. I'll draw you. Draw you for yeah. a fiver. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's fulfilling. I uh, know it's it's grand. It's it's nice. There's a little bit more freedom, I think, here than there is in Ireland, to be honest. Yeah, like, pubs are opening up soon. But you're not allowed to buy alcohol in the pubs, isn't that right? No, you'll be allowed to on the twelfth of April. That was a rumor going around that the pubs would open up, but there'd be no alcohol served. So you'd be like, yeah. well, "What are we gonna have? Water?" <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Do yeah, no, they open up. Glasses of coke with the lad. Yeah, busy, busy. and you'd be like slipping a bit of vodka in there. Go, man, I won't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, everyone just bring their own, like, wouldn't they? But no, they're definitely opening up. Like, I tried to book a table yesterday for the 17th of April, and everything is booked up already. Oh, wow. crazy! So, yeah, Jesus, it's how much um, we love to drink. That's it, yeah, it's crazy. So, wait, you can't even there are the restaurants open, like, can you do? No. Whoa. Yeah. Everything is closed. Wait, what's it not? Is it not like that in America? No, it's oh, it's state by state, isn't it? Yeah, it's state by state, and then they're like, you can eat at a restaurant outside. Yeah, because... we had oh. that. Yeah, we yeah, had that. It's gone now. Now, now the weather in Texas and LA would be like sunny. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. sunny and warm, so it's mm -hmm. nice. Yes. In Ireland, it's raining. It's cold. You know. Oh, you can so, eat outside and you're like, perfect. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not, not good weather. 
Jack, no. you you say that as if it would stop Irish people from drinking outside if it was yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. People were still outside. If I would happily drink a pint in the rain. <laughs> I know you would. You're an alcoholic, Terry. <laughs> That's why you're here. We have something to tell you. <laughs> this is the only Wait a minute, though. Ah, I should do you mean one of these things? I'm so yeah. sick of Zoom interventions. <laughs> <laughs> Could you buy alcohol through the pandemic, though? Yeah, like in the but, shop. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So it's not like oh, you had to be yeah. sober for the last year. Okay, <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> no Bending, fun at all. Allowed. Bending, no. I'd be drinking more. <laughs> yeah. I everybody, yeah. so fat. <laughs> we so all did. Easy yeah. we do My that, mask but... is even tight. That's how. That's <laughs> how much weight I'm putting on. Yeah, all right. not easy. Anyway, yeah, so Mar- it is what it is, Marty. But uh, are you ready to hit the stage and do some comedy? Yeah. You got right. it. You got it, right. All, it. all the way in Camden. <laughs> it's Marty Gleason, everyone. Woo! Hello. Hello, lads. Oh, isn't doing Zoom gigs kind of like when you wander around a supermarket as a child, like looking for little things to sneak into your parent, like your mom's basket, and you find like a packet of cheese strings and you run back and you throw them in and you like put your hand into your mom's hand and you look up at her like really hopefully and then you realize you're like looking into the cold dead empty eyes of a complete stranger that's slightly (laughs) cold oh god like it's just it's so weird it's just so weird um and uh, i don't know like I've, what I really, really, really miss is a weekend, like that change of the week, like having that separation. Because at the moment, a week just kind of feels like a one big like worm. It's just like one big thing <laughs> and there's no separation. And like, I just keep this thing keeps happening to me, like where I, like I wake up in the morning and I, my brain is just going through this like, negative loop like I wake up in the morning and my brain is just going through this like negative loop like I wake up in the morning and my brain is just going through this net 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 <laughs> negative net 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 negative loop loop sorry it's so hard to get out of that um net negative loop but um anyway so last Saturday I woke up and I was really agitated and cross and just like fed up so I was like girl first things first journal get it all out get it out from there onto this page okay <laughs> so I one thing I kind of realized since I started journaling well actually I didn't like I'm 28 I knew this my whole life that my grammar is appalling like it's so bad for example I don't really know what to really properly do with a comma I kind of just throw <laughs> them in wherever I feel like sometimes <laughs> like my side sometimes I stack them I'm like comma 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 yeah. um and I kind of tend to write how I talk and that's how I think I get away gramma- like with errors. Like, and my handwriting tends to change quite a lot, but then it like comes back to normal again as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did that for a while and that wasn't really working. So I was like, next thing, I need to connect. I need to connect with nature. <laughs> with nature. With nature. <laughs> so... I'm lucky like I I do live in London but I live quite close to Hampstead Heath um so I go out there and I was like I'm gonna like meander through the grass and like touch every tree I can and be like thank you tree for being here tree Um, (laughs) and like I was really trying to stay present you know I was really listening and at one point I heard like this dad say to his like three-year-old son who was on a scooter he was like Ollie mate come the fuck on you're so slow you're like a pigeon yeah and that really made me laugh because like that's something my dad used to say to me as well (laughs) um but yeah it's just anyway so I was walking around and I was like I'm going to find somewhere to sit down and trying to find somewhere to sit down on a Saturday in Hampstead Heat is just like on the best of times it's so difficult it was packed it's some like people everywhere and they're just so up in your face and they don't give you any personal space and it's just so negative loop negative negative brain loop okay sorry (laughs) sorry it just keeps happening so anyway I eventually found somewhere to sit down and just as I was sitting down this butterfly just kind of like lands gently in front of me like really delicate little thing and I like leant in to have a look at it like really close Hello, my name's Elix and I'm a butterfly. 
Alex. Oh. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Alex. What kind of uh, what kind of butterfly are you? I'm a polygnia butterfly, or to you common people, I'm a comma butterfly, you stupid people. <laughs> All right. Uh, like, do you mean like a comma butterfly? Like, as in comma? And he's like, yeah, like in writing, you use it for punctuation and in between gaps and sentences and lists, and it's for making things better for people to read. I was like, oh, that's mm. what commas are for. Okay, cool. Great. Okay. That was me. Thanks very much. I'm Marty Gleason. <laughs> Marty Gleason, everyone. Woo! Yeah. I know some of the some of the animal, even the animals in London are, are aggressive. You know, <laughs> the pigeons. Pigeons are so yeah. angry. They just like walk right in front of you. Like, get out of my way, you fucker. <laughs> they do. Yeah. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough town. It's a tough town. It is. It, it, le- it leads you up and spits you out. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're gonna... that was great fun. Thank you. No problem. Uh, we're going to move on to our next comedian. It is Autumn Brewer. What a name. You sure you, sure you, you, sure you don't have Irish in you? Uh, I have a, I do have, I'm a little Irish, but I'm American, so I'm a little of everything, right? I, I know what happened. Your great, great, great grandfather came and he says, sure, I'll make alcohol for you. And they're like, oh, you must be a brewer. And that was it. That's how we got his name. Yeah, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, speaking of alcohol, Alex said, a friend of mine went to a uh, drink in America. I said, what state were you in? He said, bad one after 10 pints. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> even the crowd, even the crowd have better jokes than me. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, oh, yeah. well. So how, how's, how's LA uh, awesome in uh, August? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's going, you know, we're not, we're, our restaurants are open. I mean, that we were saying like outdoor, for outdoor seating. Um, so that's been fun. And they keep talking about opening up restaurants indoor. Um, and we're like, well, let's get the kids back to school first. Maybe that yeah. should be our number one priority. Mm-hmm. Get those kids educated. Yeah, know? but no, they're like, no, we want to get drunk with people inside. <laughs> yeah. a, inside You're not a Irish room. at all. <laughs> and how, how old are these kids are we talking like all the kids all of the kids yeah i don't know about colleges but everybody um in like yeah like primary school I think through high school and at least in la county um there's no in-person classes wow it's all zoom yep oh could you imagine Ugh. But, uh i know It'd be awful. Thank God I don't have kids. I know. I'm glad I, I'm not in the education system yes. during this pandemic. And my, my brother, he's doing college right now. He's doing university. And he listens to his lectures like they're podcasts. Interesting. Like he's just, he's just like cooking. And I'm like, hey, man. He'd be like, I'm in a lecture. Like, what? That's no, you're not. Actually. I like that. That's good. And Yeah. I'm like, how's that expensive podcast? He's like, yeah, it's all right. Right. Oh, God. I'm jealous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do the lecturer I... stop in the middle of a lecture to like talk about razors and manscaping and giving discounts and shit? Because uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> that's like every podcast that ever. Took me, their, that took me two seconds phone. to get that. Imagine, <laughs> right, this they don't have a discount code. It's not a real podcast, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> this lecture is sponsored by Manscape and Lag. <laughs> if you want to share. What's the story with getting those ads? I keep getting like razor ads but they're not from a face but what is going on i don't know maybe they're trying to tell you something what did you click on yeah <laughs> i know i think my i think um my iphone's been going through my photos yeah <laughs> I don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on so um uh are you studying you you look like one of the youngest comedians we've ever had on um no i just look really young i am out of school you're yeah. over eighteen, right? I am over eighteen. Oh, I'll do. I'll do my. Um, I'll do my young age joke. I wasn't gonna do it, but I'll do it when I go up. Go so it's go a on. fun one, cause yeah. But no, I just, I just look very young. But I am. I promise you, I am of age. <laughs> okay, imagine if you said like, "Oh, I'm 14. I'm like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> like you know, I'm just. It's my lunch break from uh, high school classes. <laughs> is this really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what is it? So. Noon. Yeah, it's noon here. It's like it could be wow. a lunch break. 
So, so when you see me drinking, are you like, oh god, a poor guy? It's, I'm like, no, new. I'm like, man, like I should, I should start now, right? Like, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, like you're doing it, why not? I think Terry, are you drinking? No, I'm not. I don't know where you got this image of me as a raging alcoholic from. But... <laughs> no, I'm not drinking right now. Oh, right. Okay. Because usually you are. That's the thing about, like... I, I, yeah, you know, I probably, I probably shouldn't have built an entire brand on it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Terry does um, live videos and it's called Cans with Terry. Like, alcoholic cans. They're not Coca-Cola cans. <laughs> you know? So, you know, that's, that's where I got true. that. It, the stream is called the stream is called Terry Norman drinks can. Sorry, right. <laughs> Wait, the the Terry, Terry Norman. Yeah. Are you the yeah. sorry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make his head any bigger. Do you want me to like, sign your can of Guinness for you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm just spitballing here. You're 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 a bit you're a bit uh, star spangled, eh? You're like, oh my god, it's, it's the Terry Norman. <laughs> Yeah. He's just a normal guy. He's just like us. He's just just normal guys. All well, of I'm not like you. <laughs> I'm not just like you, Jack, because I'm not a raging alcoholic. <laughs> Here, okay. words. we've shifted blame. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. See, I told you he's like this every show. <laughs> I feel like you know, like wrestlers have feuds. I feel like my feud is with Terry. <laughs> <laughs> And you just call each other an alcoholic I, I every time you get in this. the same room. You're an alcoholic. No, you're an alcoholic. You you drink Except, too much. Yeah, and you have I'll to do a show now that's like feud. bottles with Jack awesome. or something. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, we should do a feud. And where we like live video, but we like smack Jack talk match. each other. We're like, that Terry Norman is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I think they Great. call that a roast battle, you guys. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually. Yeah. Oh, what is yeah. this? This, this is Bird. This is Tree on Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's four on one. No, um, that's the takeaway. Anyway, back, back to all. It's autumn's time. We, we were talking to her. We got we're distracted. As a comedian. Um, my brother's just commented do call out videos. Okay. Yeah. That's for the feuds. Um, so, how long have you been doing comedy? Um, well, I did improv before I did stand up. So I've been doing improv for probably about five years now. And then about a year and a half ago, I started doing stand up. So I was about like six months into stand up when like the pandemic happened. So it's been an interesting like switch to I was still I feel like new when everything got shut down. Yeah. Yeah. What's it? I know improv is quite big in America. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it can be. It definitely, I think it started to go down a little bit. A lot of the improv clubs in LA were like shutting down. Um, and then even during the pandemic, like even more shut down. Yeah. So uh, I think it, it, I think it's really fun. And if you have a really good improv team and you watch them, I think they're great and it's super awesome. Um, but I just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like people really want to go see an improv show that much anymore. Right. Okay. Because like, yeah. I know in America, your audiences are a lot more loud. So like you'd see, we watch your TV and someone would be like, do something current. Like, what happen <laughs> here? The audience just sit down and they, and they don't talk. It's, we have oh, to poke like, them with sticks. Like, come God, on, give me, give, me, give me a heckle. <laughs> Yeah. That yeah. sounds like Why? torture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are they really vocal? Um, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I haven't had any hecklers, but I've seen hecklers. I think a lot of people feel like that what they have to say is important, and they <laughs> should have the privilege to share that, no matter who's speaking. Um, well, I've, I've been isn't Twitter. that the American mentality though yeah. I want to say I feel like that's probably why <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like yeah but like they don't get like I'm on stage I'm the funny one here no they don't because they think that they what they have to say is funnier especially if they think what the comedian is saying isn't funny they're like mm -hmm. I can do better than that and then they take the initiative to try to do better mm -hmm. in the middle of someone else's set right Okay, but yeah, like I said, I haven't had that happen to me. But maybe that's because people think I'm a child, and they're like, maybe we should leave her alone. Aww. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, I can't heckle. Like, I can't heckle like kids, right? <laughs> the the only time I ever got really badly heckled was from an American guy. 
and he didn't yeah. know that in London you didn't do that. So he was there shouting at me, and I was like, "Who is who is talking? Who who keeps speaking over me?" And then he was like, "You." I started roasting him, and he was like, "You're gonna insult an old man." I was like, "Don't play that card. Don't play that <laughs> card. You, sh- you you know what you've got yourself into." So yeah, so that's how I bet up an old man. That's that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds so right. uh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't heckle again, that lad. <laughs> that's what we need to do send all of the american hecklers to europe and let them just get roasted and then maybe they'll learn their lesson yeah well <laughs> B- billy Connolly has the best heckler advice he says i never know what they're saying they could be saying like billy i love you I'm like shut the fuck up <laughs> just just scream that <laughs> <laughs> right Arthur, are you ready to hit the stage i and mean i'm not get heckled let's do it Let's do it. Okay. All the way from LA, it is Autumn Brewer. I love this. I just get to stare at my face the whole time. What a great... <laughs> um, it has been interesting. Marty, you were talking about it being interesting, like doing Zoom shows or whatever. I feel like it's been very interesting. Uh, the thing that's the weirdest, though, is like if you ever bomb on a Zoom show, like I feel like it hurts so much more than when you like bomb in real life. <laughs> Like I was doing a Zoom show and I said my punchline and nobody moved. And I was like, oh shit, it froze. <laughs> <laughs> and some guy was like, no, it didn't. And I was like, oh. so I guess I have been heckled. I mean, <laughs> but he, I think in his defense, he was just trying to be supportive. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so yes, I, I do look very young for my age. I get commented on that all the time in europe i think the drinking age is 18 right yes yeah. it is here Very it's 21 nice. um so i gotta be a little older here uh and when i went one time i went to a bar and i had a guy come up to me and he was like you're cute but are you old enough to be here <laughs> 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 yeah. like is that what you looking for like are you hoping i say no i'm not <laughs> like, <laughs> um but I feel like at this point in my life, I've just like accepted the fact that I'm a pedophile's dream, you know, like oh. they get to touch the tits of a 12 year old without any of the jail time. So really like a win win. Um, uh, during the pandemic, I did get on the dating apps because I wasn't meeting anybody. And, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, so I got on Hinge. Do you guys have Hinge in Europe? Is that just yeah. an American thing? Yeah, yeah? Okay, cool. Hinge. Yeah. So I just got on Hinge. That was the only one I got on. Um, and on there, you get to ask questions uh, or you get to answer questions like there's a prompt. And in, in, in America, or at least in L.A., um, a question that gets answered a lot is what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? <laughs> and nine times out of 10, the response is move to L.A. on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I feel like... <laughs> If that's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done, like you don't deserve to see me naked, right? Like, <laughs> I feel like standards have got to be somewhere. Um, where are we at? Uh, you know what? That's my time. We're coming up on three minutes. So I'll I'll cut it off there. So thank you so much. Come on, brew, everyone. Woo. Uh, I haven't been on dating apps in a long time, so I, I've never experienced Hinge. Hopefully, I never will. But, um, yeah, I think if someone's like, I moved to L.A. to become an actor, you're like, how's that going? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's interesting stuff. Right, well, our next comedian is, uh, unfortunately, it's Terry, Terry Norman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jack. Hey, man, you, you know I love you. Yeah, you know, you yeah, know, no, I'm like, aware of that. I've got your messages. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. You know, in school, when you fancy somebody, you know, I love like, you treat too, them- Jack. You always treat them a bit, you know, more... You, you used to tease them? That's the way I feel about you, Terry. You're teasing me because you you fancy me? Yeah. That's why you're on the you show said? tonight. Is that the gist of... <laughs> 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 well, uh, yeah, no, fuck it. I'll take a gig for whatever reason. If that's why I'm on the show, sure. I'm happy to be the sex <laughs> with. Fair, fair. You know, sex sells, Terry. But you, you know all about that. No, anyway, yeah, you um, sell sex. There's, there's a difference. That too. I have the only fans. Um, what's why? Why do you have GP beside your name? Uh, because I'm a great performer. <laughs> oh, right. And and you have to tell people. No, I am. Um, 
I didn't have uh, anything to do during lockdown, so I decided to become um, a general practitioner now. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. And how's that going? This is what I do. Uh, not well. I don't have any clients. But uh, I hope if I keep putting <laughs> GP after my name, people will start to come. People will come and say, hey, hey, I've got a, a lump on my back. And they're like, all right, just undress for me, please. No, I don't want to see a lump on somebody's back. That's gross. Really. I have a lump on my back. And I'm like, ugh. I don't do that. Yeah, go, go to the back guy. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's what the charm practitioner is. Like, you go in and you're like, hey, I've got this problem. And they're like, well, I'm going to send you to a specialist. Who I'm going to send you to a fucking cough specialist or something. And now that's 50 euro also. Thank you. That's what a G- that's yeah. really all being a GP is. So I'm going to continue to do that. Well, like, maybe that's I why would... you don't have any clients. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're shit. No. Um, I wonder, like, where do doctors... Well, no, I mean, I want to know that, right? How do you know, as a doctor, what part, body part is for you? Like, how do you go, oh, I'm going to be the back guy? I love that there's the proctologists are a thing. You know, I, like, <laughs> there are people who are... Like, proctologists exist. Like, so there are people who are like, I'm going to dedicate my life to studying arses. Like this, I don't know if you know this, yeah. but uh, somebody told me rec- someone told me recently that in um, I, I think it's Saint Michael's Hospital or something. Every Monday morning, they do Aris operation. That's that's all Monday they do morning on is they do Aris day, hemorrhoids, uh, <laughs> enemas, all this. You thought your Monday was bad. Imagine being the proctologist in this fucking hospital whose Monday morning is just dedicated to dealing with hemorrhoids and and all this shit it's horrible yeah yes i know how um, did we get on this I, how did we get on to uh, this you, you, you've been a gp i i i, I, I yes don't you really, realize i could say a quite a controversial statement but i don't believe men should be gynecologists like um why i don't think because that's not an area that a man really knows much about he should well, I... speak for yourself, Jack. I mean, you're, sp- <laughs> but also keep in mind that like it's not just you're not just taking a sorry, you're not just forget. taking a guy off the street. Like you're not just <laughs> taking a random dude and being like you go and fucking operate on this vagina. Like it's someone who's no, been in college just, and is studying. Just it's look at a it. random dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just, it's, it's, enough, it's not yeah. like hey, have you ever seen a woman naked? Great, that's all you need. Go- no, it's a guy who's been studying here for years. You're in. <laughs> yeah true true but like you know when when it, when they're picking their body parts like you know i actually think the vagina is the one for me uh, i you know or, or the foot doctor i i think like that is that, wh- why would you want to do that oh, i want to look is at it like is it like a kind of thing like a harry potter like a harry potter <laughs> sorting hat kind of thing or to sit down yeah. and the hat is like uh feet and then one guy's like vagina <laughs> vagina 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 and the guy is like <laughs> Men's assholes exclusively. <laughs> oh, this is Harry Potter. Look at that weird. skin. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, how do we get on to this? Um, J.K. Rowling you... really lost it. I know. Yeah, that could be your next book. Um, were you doing gigs in Germany? I saw before mm-hmm. the big. Yeah, lockdown. I've been. Uh, I, I, I've done some stuff. I yeah, I actually ended up. Uh, I was doing a gig in Slovakia when Slovakia went into lockdown and I ended up living for six months in a hostel in Slovakia, which was actually quite fun. Whoa. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? So we, um, and, and you, yeah, when yeah, were you yeah, going to tell I, me I, this? I, well, like, I don't update you on everything I do. Oh, hey, Jack, <laughs> I became a general practitioner. Hey, I moved to Slovakia where the <laughs> standards for GPs are much lower and I can't be sued. <laughs> Is that where you oh, are gosh. now? No, I. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'm in um, rural mountain Germany. Wow! Whoa. What? You're in Germany? Oh, yeah, this now. isn't a lie. This is not a lie. Um, when I was in Slovakia, I I met a girl who worked in the hostel I was living in. She's from the German mountains, and uh, we decided to kind of wait out the lockdown there. Nice. So, wow. so if we hear like, oh, Terry, who are you talking to? Is it one of your friends? <laughs> like, could we expect that accent? <laughs> no, she she actually has no accent at all. It's crazy. I thought like, uh, she was like, she'd be like, 
I are you do comedy? This is very serious, yeah. No, like <laughs> she, she's not a racist German stereotype at all. Well, no, they're actually really nice people. You know, well, I wouldn't go that far, but I mean, I, I the Germans I've met have been like, I'm like, you guys best, really, really just confident. What Germans like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I knew one and she yeah, was no, like... Yeah, they're fun. Um, they're good crack. Yeah, they're, they're good fun. Um, she used to um, life draw, life model. You know, so, the only um, thing is... Always... Sorry, go on. No, sorry, continue. You you knew a German who life modeled and that's where your knowledge of <laughs> vaginas... Yeah, and so... Like, her job was... Is this where you're going with the story? <laughs> her job was like, she was just like, oh, I'd go into work and just strip naked and... And they would draw me, and I would get paid. Yeah, it's wonderful. You see, I've I've actually have legitimately I've been told this that like nudity is a big thing in Germany. So maybe she wasn't even a life model. Maybe she like worked in a bank or something. But still like, oh yeah, I can go to work and get naked. <laughs> <laughs> so she'd be like, yeah, I just go in and just take off all my clothes, and it's just great. Everybody joins in, in Germany. We don't really like underwear. <laughs> Hang on. This is the, uh, comment. <laughs> the greatest preschool teacher. I oh. want to hear what what Marty has to say. I'm our number two fan. <laughs> oh, I don't. Also, oh, Marty Rachel. couldn't get your number one fan here today. <laughs> no, our number one fan is busy. Uh, we also have Rachel Clancy. I have joined as a spicy topic mom. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Right. Well, you did. It's, now it's gone to nude Germans. Um, <laughs> so have you... Have you seen much new German story? <laughs> <laughs> Not a single one. Yeah. Well, that's These disappointing. Are phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were going to get a proper show. But I live you in. You thought you were going to get a, a I'm professional hopeful. person. I'm hopeful. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Maggie thought you were gonna, she was on an oh, I'll go on an Irish show. Oh, the guy looks really professional. No. <laughs> no, it's an Irish show. You know? What? Yeah, I know. Um, Somebody said I look professional. Like... No, that I was professional. No, no oh. way. Am I professional. Yeah, no, that's more likely. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, no way. So, uh, Terry, are you ready to do some comedy in English? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Amazing. Okay, all the way in Deutschland, it is Terry Norman. Oh. Woo. Woo. Hi, thank you. Hi. Yeah, so I did. Um, I did do some shows around the place. I, I did a show in a uh, Czech Republic, and I, 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 especially in like this weird small Czech Republic town called Borno, which is fucking insane. Like when I got off the train in Borno, the guy who booked me for the show met me at the train station, and I walked up to him and I said hello, and he said, "Don't go to the strip clubs." <laughs> that was the first that was the first thing he said to me before he said hello it was like you'd swear to god like i'd walked off the train in a t-shirt that said i heart strip club and i was like <laughs> why why is this such a pressing matter and he goes well in borno the strippers are notorious because they'll drug you and oh. they'll take your money oh. and i was like well i don't have any money so hooray free drugs <laughs> <laughs> after the uh after the train station, we went to a coffee shop, and uh, the coffee shop is filled with people, and we're sitting around, we're having coffee, and this guy comes in with his dog, and there's a toddler in the shop, and the toddler goes to pet the dog, but before he he can do it, the dog bites the toddler, and then <gasps> all of us get yes. up to go and like rush, all of us get up to go and like rush to the toddler, but before any of us reach him, the toddler punches the dog. <laughs> and <laughs> At that point, everybody stepped back and was like, all right, I guess we're going to let them sort this out between themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the most Czech Republic thing I've ever seen. And we would have, they would have been happy to let the toddler and the dog have a fucking brawl until the barista, because she's responsible, came from behind the counter and picks up the toddler, gives him to his dad and goes, you need to take him out of here now and get him a tetanus shot. <laughs> and the dad points to his kid and goes, why do I have to leave? He's the one who punched <laughs> the dog. 
So this, this guy would have been happy to just let his son be kicked out to fend for himself on the streets of Bourne. And he obviously would have done well if he's going around fucking brawling dogs. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that night, uh, I go to my hostel. And the hostel is... Uh, the hostel is shitty even by Eastern European hostel standards. Like, <laughs> it is... It's 80s themed, which is just to cover the fact that it hasn't been cleaned since the fucking 1980s. So when I left the hostel to go to my gig i was like there's no way i'm coming back i'm going to find another place to stay tonight or something so i did the gig and i get to talking to this girl in the bar afterwards and i decide to make a move and i say hey you know i really don't want to stay in my hostel tonight is there anywhere else i could go you know i've seen fucking anal porn that is less subtle than that come on and she goes <laughs> oh yeah she goes, I know the perfect place. So obviously, I think, awesome, she's going to bring me back to her apartment. It's going to be fantastic. Instead, she took me to a 24-7 karaoke bar. Oh, oh nice. Why is that a thing? Why does that exist? Who's singing karaoke at fucking quarter past nine on a Tuesday morning? Like, what the fuck? That's amazing. <laughs> Some guy That's with cool. a problem. Yeah. We're sitting in the karaoke bar, and a brawl breaks out, which is weird, because like I didn't think the kind of people who go to karaoke bars are also the kind of people that have bar room brawls and like what the fuck are we fighting about who gets to sing my heart will go on and there's a security <laughs> guard who is there's a security guard is like trying to break it up the whole time but he's terrified he's like he keeps going okay i'm get, this is your last warning one two three and then he like goes to jump and then he just pulls back because he's too scared and in the end two security guards across the road have to come over and break up the fight and I was thinking, how did that security guard get the job when he's clearly so underqualified? And then it hit me. It's a karaoke bar. It doesn't have real singers. Mm-hmm. It has karaoke singers. It doesn't need a security guard. It needs a karaoke security guard. It needs a guy to stand at the door. It needs a guy to stand at the door in front of people and read things off the wall in front of them going, not tonight, mate. <laughs> All right, that was my adventure in Borno. Thank you, Jack. Back to you. Cherry Ooh. Norman, everyone. Ooh. That sounds amazing. So this girl just was like, you're not staying with me, mate. You're going to the karaoke bar. <laughs> yeah, I, I sang nine to five six times throughout the night. What a way to, what a way to make a living, huh? <laughs> I, uh, I went to one karaoke bar once in Bur- Birmingham, and it was Japanese. It was really cool. And they with it was a real late one as well, like three o'clock in the morning. You're singing your lungs out. You're singing, in a, singing a heartbreak hotel. Yeah, in, famous, in 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 sunny Birmingham, Japan. Yeah, that famous yeah. city. <laughs> I know. Um, I felt like if you ever go through a breakup, it'd be great to just have a night out in the karaoke bar, sing all the love songs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay. we're going to move on to our last comedian, all the way from Texas. Maggie, how are you doing? I'm good. I feel like if you're going to sing all those heartbreak songs, though, like you need to get one of those rooms where it's like just you. You know what I mean? Like you can rent by the hour and yeah. then you just go like on repeat. Because <laughs> I just don't want to wait. You, you don't want to <laughs> wait. <laughs> and, and then they're just like, oh, we, we listened in. It was just you screaming for an hour. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. What's your go-to song? What's your go-to karaoke? First song you pick? Uh, Jailhouse oh. Rock. Nice. Nice. Should we, should we go around and ask everybody? Terry, what's your go-to? Um, Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> right. Nice one. Marty? Probably Heart Alone, I'd say. Nice. Okay, That's nice. Awesome. Uh, baby Got Back. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. nice. Good choice. That's a fun one. It gets the, it gets the crowd excited. I know all the words, yeah. so. That's, that's and a it's plus. unusual. <laughs> and Maggie, you're unusual. Uh, no, and that's not unusual. It, hers was it's unusual. A, um, it's a, it depends. Word. There's so there's some. I have like a list in my phone of songs that I pick, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I would say Cheryl Crow. All I want to do is have some fun. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Joe's a great one as well. If not, if you don't like singing, tequila. Hmm. Because you just stand there for four minutes going. Tequila. <laughs> that is a good one. Next, uh, next time you're in the karaoke, you're like, I'm not in the mood to sing, just play that one. 
Yeah. It has the little bar as well waiting until the next time you have to sing. I feel like that would be torture for the karaoke DJ. It's just yeah, like, he, what do you do? And just, ah. Yeah, and you're just there like jiving. You're jiving to the, the little beat they have. Yeah. Yeah, just do that. So, God, I can't uh, remember the last time you did karaoke. Feels like it's been forever. No. We're like, what's your favorites? I don't know. It could be different now. It could be totally different. I have no idea. Is this happening I don't know on Zoom? Is there karaoke Zoom shows going on now? Because everything has happened, moved online. Is I would not still? be surprised, I honestly. <laughs> I've seen dance parties on Zoom. Like people get together and dance on Zoom. That's close, right? And like, would you have to dance for yeah, the way stop? Get, so you're, you're, like, you're just, you're just this is the quietest dance party ever. Yeah, yeah. do people like, like, <laughs> that was good, Marty. Was good. Were you a dancer in your other life? No. No. This one. Oh, oh, stop it. <laughs> See, you're so Irish, you can't even take a compliment. Like, stop, yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, away, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> deflect, deflect. And then journal about deflect, it later. No. Oh, God, you said nice things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying like, oh, I, li- I like your moves. And you're like drawing me with horns. They go, fuck a prick. <laughs> go die. Go die. Die, bastard. <laughs> so uh, for the viewers who don't know, Maggie's in Texas. What's, yeah. what's Texas like? Um, um, it's the center of the news right now in the United States. Let me tell you. Oh, really? Um, Why? Yeah, I was going to ask. Do you have power? Oh yeah, that was. I mean, a couple weeks ago. But uh, we, it it doesn't it doesn't snow here ever. But we got an ice storm, a snowstorm, and then another ice storm and another snowstorm on top of that within the span of like eight days. And there's no like snow plows. There's no salt. There's no way to like deal with any of this, of this shit show yeah so we were all just stuck inside and on top of that um they gave us rolling blackouts and then most of us didn't have power and it was so fucking cold um sorry you can that, curse uh, on the show okay yeah. the show is. <laughs> nobody else did and i was like oh no i just said the first one um and then it was so cold that a lot of the pipes froze and so um, when it thawed out, everything was like bursting. So plumbers are like, uh, they're they're making money right out. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're making money. But pe- so, like, how how are you here? Are you afraid that like the power will just cut off and she'll just I'm disappear fine. from it's the street? Fine. It's fine. I was fine. Okay. Power did not go off for me at all. Um, I w- there was a scare where I was like, oh no, my pipes are freezing. But then I just turned the heat up a little bit because I was like screw everybody else like i'm gonna make it warm in here for a minute um but yeah i had i had uh friends come over they didn't have water for a couple days because their pipes were frozen so like people were just coming over to shower which is it's such a weird like you want to come over and shower like okay (laughs) um yeah but then (laughs) and then after that we were all like stuck inside again you know for like nine days and then uh because literally i fell down the stairs of my apartment because it was so icy and i was like yeah i'm not i'm not leaving like i'm just gonna gonna stay just gonna stay inside but then um after that the governor was like hey next week uh no more masks don't worry about that thing that we were worried about for don't worry about it full capacity everyone just do your thing and my dad, who lives uh, in the, the Midwest, in Minneapolis, he goes, you guys are making us look like a third world country. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, I don't, I mean, we saw where the protest started, dad. So like, um, and that's your neighborhood. So uh, <laughs> do, you think, you, do you think, do you think your dad started the protest? <laughs> No, no, he did not start them. Um, I'm sure he drove through them. Um, it's just so funny how like quickly we forget. We're like, oh, new news thing, new thing, and it's like I know. Sometimes I feel like a new thing happens, and we just forget about the old thing. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. someone called you a name. Like, give it ten minutes, they'll be onto someone else. Hang tight, <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's great to have you here. That you survived yeah. the the apocalypse, yes. the the weather apocalypse. Yes. 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 Wow. Because like, I know now you only have all those other apocalypses to worry about. Yeah, true. <laughs> right. Um, like, what would those be I like? The zombie. Gets... <laughs> zombie apocalypse is next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That'd be more fun though. Yeah. Yes. 
Would are you she prepared? Did. Are you prepared for a zombie apocalypse? Oh, I'm prepared, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Never leaves my side. You know, I was listening to a podcast about um, how there's a new like doom boom that's happening, and like people are prepping more than they have ever. I think even like since the Cold War, so people have like 30 days of supplies ready to go. And like they're buying these bunkers and like just pre- prepping, like doomed it. It's called the doom boom. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Right. So the diff- difference is, you guys have guns. We don't here, so we have to like <laughs> fend with our golf clubs. Yeah. 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 Really, really, what we're having in Ireland is a golf boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone's buying their their great golf great clubs, time like, for the golfing industry. <laughs> will this give Will this give a good swing on our heads? You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chainsaws, is that a thing? Like, are you allowed to have those? Okay. You need a a license for a chainsaw, but yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, there's machetes everywhere. Wait, I'm sorry, what? (laughs) Yeah. You need a license license for for a a chainsaw? Yeah, I know that that because my father has a chainsaw license. Do you actually? Yeah. It's it's a weapon that tears things to pieces. It's It's also just like very dangerous for an individual like if you don't know what you're doing with it like you could injure yourself you could lose yeah, obviously you could, lo- you could lose so much so quick oh my god i would laugh at the day that america tried to make uh, a chainsaw license for people right. what oh my god you're trying to take away my chainsaw yeah like, no we're just trying to make sure you know how to use, use it. it yeah oh well my god. well well, uh, my brother was telling me, you know, the, the film The Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, yeah. Um, they, they could get, they had a real chainsaw or, but they were like, oh, this is too dangerous. So they were like, oh, well, we get a fake chainsaw and it was going to cost them thousands. So they just used a real one. So the guy is chasing. I didn't know that. I didn't oh, know that God. they used a real That's one. Real. Yeah. So like there's bits where he's chasing a van and the chainsaw's going back like that. Oh, <gasps> yeah. That makes it even scarier. That's already like yeah, in my top. It's five more of a documentary than anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I'm glad to see that you're alive. That's good. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes. How, how's comedy in Texas? Is it, what's it like? Is it a lot of? Um, it is huge right now. If you get a chance to come yeah. through, it's what's happening is kind of magic because, um, as you probably noticed, Autumn, a lot of comedians from Los Angeles and from New York are are migrating here, and it's. Mm-hmm. Becoming this very rich, yeah, it's this very vibrant Mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, and because everything's open, why are are uh, they even? I well, I think the pandemic made everybody think about like what they're doing with their life, and Mm -hmm. LA is very expensive. I've had a few Mm -hmm. friends from LA move to Austin Mm -hmm. during the pandemic, and And Austin also has a big film industry there too, mm -hmm. where it's like a building film industry. Yeah, yeah, cheaper to live, uh, less people, and it's also. Uh, a very liberal town mm-hmm. in the middle of a red state. So it's it's very, so when we talk about politics in the United States, you're either very left, which is um, liberal, that or very so. right, which is very conservative. Um, and with New York and Los Angeles coming here, the moderates on both those coasts are, are landing here. So it's a very like middle of the road city with very liberal leaning tendencies it's yeah. it's really remarkable and because everything joe rogan did not bring them all oh god uh, <laughs> get out of here with joe rogan he is, he did, joe he is rogan. opening a club but it's not the reason that people are coming it's 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 a lot of other things um but it's joe, it's, lo- it's magic here it really I, is I, I love when joe rogan's like well it's, it's entirely possible he always says that it's um they don't have a state income tax here either and so if you work for yourself you're you're not paying all that extra taxes either so for me that was a big a big draw as well yeah what do you do what do you do yourself sorry i spilled my fragrance my perfume everywhere it's fine i'll just my (laughs) shirt will smell lovely um what what do you what do you do uh i'm a i'm a i'm a voiceover actor so i read cool. commercials and scripts and stuff yeah that so explains work... why you've got such a good setup yes <laughs> yeah um so yeah when you when you run your own business it's like why why do i want to pay the state of california because i like autumn i was living in la for a long time so but like why do i want to pay 13 percent state yeah. income tax when i could keep it for myself so <laughs> exactly yeah 
Um, that's crazy about the voiceover stuff. Why didn't you? No one mentions anything in this show. Why? That's so cool. You know, Terry, Terry didn't tell us hey, that he lives in Germany now. Maggie, I, hmm? I don't live Just in so Germany. I'm laying low in Germany. Anyway, oh, uh, <laughs> Maggie, as as a voiceover actor in America, are you familiar with Eric Edelstein? Big Eric. No? no, no. Ah, I was on a a train to Kilkenny a few years ago, and I met this massive American dude, uh, and we drank some cans together. And I only found out after he's Classic. like a big voiceover actor in America. He's on a show with the Dimitri Martin and all, all this shit. Oh, okay. Dimitri's but great. Well, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Voiceover actors know each other. There's a lot. It's like comedians. It was like we don't. We just met now, yeah. but now we're gonna be best friends online forever. <laughs> I mean, that's how. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I actually, you got a, you me got when a... I first met him, and I was like, "Nah." Oh, yeah. yeah. Adam Mays is Never. so great. Yeah, he produces a show called um, "Comics and Chaos" in Los Angeles. Adam, hit him up um, when everything opens up. Is it is it, it online? Can we watch it? Um, I no, because it's it's like punk rock bands and then alternative comedy. It's it is a great show. It's a lot of fun. Nirv- so. Nirvana meets weird comedy. I like like indie, indie comedy. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's big energy. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot nice. of fun. Yeah. Are you, because you're a voiceover artist, are you very good at reading the terms and conditions really quick? Like, terms and yes. conditions. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I love Adam's that just... that's like the big, the big, uh, um, the big draw. <laughs> yeah, because I remember like, when I went to drama school, we had voiceover classes and we had to read them out we had to do the terms and conditions so many times and we'd be like terms and conditions apply and they'd be like that's too mumbly you need to be quick but clear and I'd be like can you actually speed this up in the editing room like no yeah I was gonna say yeah I thought they just sped sped it up in the editing room they do both so but when you read it you have to breathe so you'll get through a sentence as you'll get through a sentence as quickly as possible and it'll be clear and then they'll 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 shorten it just a little bit, not a lot. But then for me, like I'll take a big breath and then go on the next sentence very quickly. And then, and then you just edit it together. So it, there's no like big gap. Because there. you still want it clear. And when you process it, when you overly process it, it doesn't sound quite right. Because then all of a sudden your voice is up here and you're like, <laughs> like it's, Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. Alvin and the chipmunks like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <That's like>, <laughs> is that what it, is that my voice? Is that yeah, I'm my like, voice? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So. It's like, yeah, who put on the helium in here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, uh, is there anything we'd we'd know you from? Do you like is there any voices? I if you listen to romance novels, I read a lot of smut trash novels. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you're like and then but, she kissed him for the first but last yeah. time. You know, it didn't occur to me that like it's women that listen to these books, and I it's like the sex is turned up, and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what is this? Um, but you know, what it pay it pays good hey, money. So, um, <laughs> what is it about literature let's get it that on. just turns women on? Just what is know, it? What is let's... it about reading? <laughs> it's the slow buildup, I think, is what it is, so. and then you get All to right. like discover emotions and stuff, and yeah, it's the, it's the slow. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Nice. Amazing. And I you get should... to picture it yourself. So like Romeo and your story is going to look different for Autumn and Marty and myself. You know, like that guy is going to look very different in our heads. You know what I mean? Right. So you like craft the perfect man that you want. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Cool. Maybe I should write my own romance novels. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> Irish style, right? So like... Yes. Typical West Ireland fella in a farm, <laughs> covered in muck. But she loves it. Like she's oh god, I love that. <laughs> Tell me more, Jack. <laughs> I think they Very did a film on that. P.S. I love you. Is that right? Yeah. The, what's um, the new one that? What's the new one that's out? Um, Wild Mountain really, Time with Christopher Walken. Oh. They've got the worst Irish accents. Christopher Walken plays an Irish farmer. He's like. Now I'm a farmer. I've got no <laughs> yeah. cows. Like it's so bad. And everyone just has muck on their face 
all yeah. the time. Like, uh, wash your face. Is it That's Emily Blunt? Like? Okay. Is Emily Blunt just like, it's when you ting those tings. Black, dirty tooth. Like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, and, and then she's like, but I love him. And he's like, I'm going to freeze the eggs. You got to freeze <laughs> your whole body. <laughs> for him. That's a good Christopher Walken. Very good. I've been yeah. doing Chris for a long time. I could do a voiceover as him. Ho! <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Marty does like animated stuff, right? So you guys I can like, like collaborate and work on something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll show Christopher Walken in London. I feel like, like hey. every show I do with you, Jack. I feel yeah, like every show I do with you just descends into you doing a Christopher Walken impersonation. <laughs> Why wouldn't you whip that out? I mean, every, that's a, a certain point where like, all right. Every day, every day, every day you know. Yeah, yeah. I've been practicing my Joe Biden as well. I've just been watching a lot of him. You know, he's just so confused. I'm the first one in my college to go to the moon. Can you do, you know. Can you do Biden doing an impression of Walken? Oh, my God. Oh. Chris Walken. <laughs> How? <laughs> There we go. Yeah. That was That's amazing. It. Yeah. What a he, way to be put he doesn't, on the spot. He, doesn't, he doesn't know where he is ever. <clears throat> and Trump, Trump was like, like when the elections were on, part of me was kind of like up for Trump because he's like 50% of my act. It's like, come on, <laughs> come on Trump. <laughs> do you know what, like, do you know how hard the Hillary impression is? It's tough. No. Yeah. No, that's a joke, by the way. Some people are like, what? No, <laughs> Wait, no, no. That's, that's a joke. I can always do a Trump impression, you know? He's not going anywhere. He's still he's still alive. Anyway, we've gone off topic. Maggie, are you ready to hit the stage? You ready I to am. do your thing? I'm going to play okay. a little music for you, if that's all right. It'll uh, be co super comedy. Excited. It'll be first, comedy related. First um, person on the show with a guitar. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Texas, it is Maggie Mayfield, everyone. Woo! Oh, you guys are the nicest. Um, right now here in Austin, Texas, it's three o'clock. I'm about to have my fourth cup of coffee because uh, I love caffeine. Caffeine, Woo! caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. I need you in the morning to start my day, right? Woo! I need you in the morning to function and make it to that work function. I'll stop at Starbucks on the way. And then you go to Starbucks and you walk out like, I'm broke, but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm caffeinated and kind. I spend seven bucks on a latte. Because no one tells you that when you turn 30, all of a sudden your guts just turn to shit. And now you need to drink soy milk because you're lactose intolerant. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that fun? Uh, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Like all your money at Starbucks. <laughs> Because you can't drink the milk if you're lactose intolerant. You could eat that cheese, it'll block you up, make you gassy. But don't rip a fart in front of your man, keep it classy. Because don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Like all uh, your dignity. Because you can't drink the milk if you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> You could eat that ice cream, it might heal your emotions. Just know it'll set your bowel movements in motion. Cause don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Like your insides! Cause you can't drink the milk if you're lactose intolerant. You at home can sing this next part. What can't you do? You can't drink the milk you if you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I don't know how much time that is, but I feel like that's uh, that's about as clean as I'm gonna get for you guys. So, thank you, Jack, Woo! for having me. My oh my god, everyone. that was great. So much I learned, fun. I learned Woo! so much about being in my thirties. Is that yeah. what happens? Yeah, your poor guts. It's coming for you. You don't even know. <laughs> I'm 27. Hang so in there. Three years left. But to drink all the milk and cheese you want. <laughs> And well, I'm go starting all today. downhill from there. Yeah, I'm starting today. Okay, I'm gonna steal the audience for two seconds. I'm just gonna thank them so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you love the show, you want to support it, there's a tip jar here. I'm gonna be honest. This streamyard, uh, I don't actually make any money. I lose money from this show um, because I have to pay for all this. So if you want to throw me a few quid, Asher, look, 
You know yourself. Go on. <laughs> All right. Right. That's enough for me. That the, the link is in the bio. Right, guys. You've been. It's been a great show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. We had Autumn. We had Marty. We had Terry. Thanks for we'll have much. you all back. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely to fun. meet all of you as well. Cool. Yeah. You too. No, it was fun. Thank you. Let's Thanks, wave guys. Goodbye to the audience. Bye, bye, audience.